welcome again this tutorial on catfish component so let's see so you already noticed that when we install catfish catfish be by default loaded two component one is called request handler and another is called flash so this flash component we have used several times for example if you open a controller you will see this flash success in several time for example when you make edit you have uh, used this flash message success also use this flash error message that has uh, for flash the error message for uh, flash the success message we have used this flash component and so you can see in different different controller in different method we have used this lot uh, use this flash several times so that means in CAC PHP, uh, if you use component, your code will be dry. That means don't repeat yourself. So when something need you know, uh, need in your uh, many controller uh, for a same task, then you can create a component. Let give me an example. For example, you want to create a user logging log system for a that means uh, what actually user is doing in your application you want to keep it track for example user will uh, user will buy a product user will buy a product and you want to track that ip in several time when user will order a product or when user will edit his information uh, edit his uh, bank details uh, in several time you want to or track the user log that means uh, you want to track the user agent and also you you want to track the user ip and the other information that you want to track so in this scenario you can use component so let's see a simple example so for create a component uh, we need a simple command in cat php so let's uh, give this command i mean i'm going in cdb bin directory and then giving the command tag tag component and then name of my component for example user logs is my controller name then after hit on enter a controller will be created in controller and in component this folder <coughs> Okay, so component has created and you can see it has created in your controller controller folder and there is a folder called component and this is the component that has created. So first, what we will do, we will create a simple method and then we will load this component and we will use this com uh, method in, our, in a controller. <clears throat> so let's create a uh, method. I'm just giving public function that is the test method that I'm going to create and here I'm just uh, typing uh, echo hello. Now I'm going to load this um, component in my app controller. So if you load this component in your app controller, that means you are able to access uh, this uh, uh, component asset or component property and method from your all controller because uh, app controller is the parent controller. You also able to uh, load this component in your, um, in a single, in a single component uh, using this initialize method. So let's uh, make this component uh, global. So I'm going to copy this line and paste it in here and just uh, going to copy this user logs name and paste it in here. So my component has loaded. So now let's uh, use this component. So I'm going in users controller and going here in top, I'm just typing this and the name of my controller, uh, name of my component. So my component name is user logs. So I'm just going to copy this user logs and then giving the method name. So test was my method. 
and I'm just giving here a exit. So when I will load my um, uh, login page, I should see hello, this hello message. And uh, let's see, so I'm going in here. So this is my login page, just reload it. So you can see the hello message. So that means we are able to use our component um, yeah, in users in any controller. After load this, we are able this able to uh, use our component. So next, season, let's see the next part. In next part, we will create uh, uh, we will create a database uh, table, and then we will access in database table from our users log component. So let's see. So for that, I already created a database called uh, call users log. Let's go in PHP my admin. And I will change this method now. And going to write this public function and giving the name save IP. I will just uh, save the IP, uh, user IP in my database table. It's just an example. So you can extend it. So here I'm giving the username, sorry, user ID, because I will pa pass the user ID in this method and uh, uh, it will save the user ID and IP in a table. So if you go in here, this is my tutorial table and this is the user's log uh, table that I, that I created. Okay, you can see the user ID, IP field created and modified, only five fields in here. So this is the structure, uh, ID, it is the primary key auto increment, and the IP, marker 45 and created and modified. So let's save the user ID and IP when user will log in. So in login time, we will save the user ID and IP in this database table. So I'm going in here. So I have to access first uh, in um, table. So I, we need to register our table name in here. So for that, I'm just going in tech page with documentation. And you can see there has a table registry. Uh, we have to use this class. So I'm just giving here use. And then uh, you can see that if you using CACPH version 3.6, then you use this uh, table registry get article. If you're using version greater than 3.6 uh, with CACPH version 4, you can use this table registry get locator, get table name. So I'm just going to copy this line and paste it here. So this is my table name. So I'm just going to write user log. Uh, and here I'm giving the table name, user logs. Uh, let's see the table name in here. So I still not created uh, my model for my user log table. So let's create the user's table model. So here I'm just going to type tag bag model and user logs then hit on enter it will create the model okay so model has created so you can see the user logs here the table name that we have used in here user logs so now the next thing you will save the data so for the save data i am just uh, following this uh, uh, article so here I will use this uh, table name and new empty entity that I will use here so this is the user log table new empty entity and I will create this table a meaningful uh, variable that I have used and here it will I will use this user log So now I will assign the value in here. So first one, I need to use the log and the 
name user name user id so i will pass the user id first so i'm just writing the user id equal to equal this user id and the second thing that i will do uh, i will save the ip address so for save ip address we have to use the request uh, so in tech php if you go in our uh, request and response object if you go in here and then i'm going in down Uh, host and domain name then here is the http method and then i will i will give this uh, documentation in my video description so here, here you can see we, we are able to grab our client ip like this so this is also tech version 4 so i'm just going to copy this line because we have to use this uh, namespace on this server request So here we go. This is the summary request. And then in here, we have to create the object in here. So in previous version in CAC PHP 3, you actually don't need to create the object in here, but uh, or instance in here, but in CAC PHP version 4. So when you will use this uh, server request, you have to create the object in here. So I'm just creating the object in here and give, uh, giving the name request. Request equal new and then server request. So now for IP, the IP, we have to just use this request, then find IP. So this is the method that I, am, I have to use. I'm just going to copy it and paste it in here. So after that, we have to save our we have to save our data. So I'm just going to save like this. So so this is the uh, article table. This is the user log table. And it will be save user log like that. So what we have did here we have uh, registry our users user logs table. Here we have created new MTT entity, and then we have assigned to value one is user ID and one another is client IP, and then we have saved the user log. So now we'll use this save IP in our users controller. So let's go in here. And I'm just commenting this to them and go in here after the identity when we set the user information. Then we will create this log. So let's call this function method here. So name of my method is save IP. And there is one parameter and this first parameter and this parameter will be this auth user ID. So I know the uh, auth component is uh, deprecated, but uh, whatever you use, I think you were able to send this. Uh, you, if you use the uh, authorization or authentication plugin, if you use the authentication plugin, then you also able to send this user ID like this. So I'm just saving this. And after save, if I go in my browser and just uh, reloading my page, so here a undefined constant uh, HTTP server request. So let's see line seven. Okay, so I missed the use in here. Okay. So after save, if you go in here, then reload your page again. The login page. So if you go in here, there is no any data. I'm just going to login now. And just keep making this 
127.0.0.1 that means localhost then hit on enter again giving the credential then submit so you can see login has completed now go in here you can see the IP and user ID has saved so this is a very simple example that I have given in here. You can extend it. You can save the user um, main information like user agent information or domain info information or any other information. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Welcome for the next tutorial.